acid attack thug Arthur Collins lived a lavish lifestyle, renting a Mercedes car, undergoing Harley Street hair transplants and having two mortgages to his name. But the 25-year-old's declared income last year was only an pound, 7,000, a court heard. The thug was today jailed for five counts of GBH and nine counts of ABH after leaving 14 injured in a nightclub acid attack in East London in April. The incident, described by Collins as his silly little mistake, left his victims with life-changing injuries, including permanent disfigurement and eye damage. The brute lived a life of luxury posing alongside his toey star girlfriend Fern McCann in glossy magazines. The court heard he had two mortgages, rented a Mercedes and underwent two hair transplant procedures in London's Harley Street. But Judge Noel Lucas QC was told Collins had no money. The judge reacted, I am a bit surprised by that. Referring to the two hair transplants Collins had last year at a private clinic, Judge Lucas said, I suspect it wasn't paid for on the NHS, and I dare say it wasn't cheap. Collins owed more than an pound, 7,300 on his credit cards, Prosecutor Luke Pond said. The judge said, that sum isn't far short of his total declared earnings last year. He also has two mortgages but gave no information about the equities he owes, the court heard. Collins is a signatory to the accounts of Sack Scaffolding Limited, where he worked with his family. The thug, whose previous convictions include public order offenses, criminal damage, possession of cocaine, drink driving and ABH, also had a hired Mercedes Jeep. Judge Lucas said, so he retained hire of a vehicle notwithstanding the fact he was a disqualified driver. Here, I am told Mr. Collins has no brass farthings to rub together, in effect, notwithstanding his lease on a Mercedes Jeep and two expensive hair transplants. If I sound as if I am skeptical of the information I have been given, it is because I am. I don't believe a word, frankly. Even if Mr. Collins was a man of significant wealth, no sum I could reasonably order would be actual compensation for the form of injuries suffered by the victims. Collins' defense barrister said his mother mostly paid for the hair transplants and one of his bank accounts was and pound, 7,400 overdrawn, and another and pound, 1,700. George Carter Stevenson QC defending, said, it appeared he had a lifestyle that was open to him beyond his means. He was clearly living beyond his means. In mitigation, Mr. Carter Stevenson added, he feels literally as if the entire world has turned against him. He said the confrontation in the Hackney nightclub developed very rapidly, adding, it's not planned, it's not organized. It's a stupid, thoughtless reaction and one which Mr. Collins now bitterly regrets. Judge Lucas said, I am driven to the conclusion that what happened was some perceived slight that your client felt, 